Hi. This is the the biostatic models mounted on an old original Panadent articulator. And what I'm going to do is just quickly review how the model works and why it's the when you do a biostatic rejuvenation on a patient, why it's works so well and is so long lasting. First off, what you always want to have is a stable condyle position so that the jaw opens and closes on the same arc every time. Number two, you need to have your anterior determinants nice overjet, nice overbite, so that when you move the teeth, they immediately disclude and protrusive. And when you're at full edged edge, you can see there's a lot of clearance on each side. So it's very, it's impossible for any teeth to wear down in the posterior. The only thing that's going to wear down if the patient's a grinder across their front teeth, you may wear down the front teeth somewhat. And then when you go into lateral excursions, because of the tightness of the occlusion at the canine region, it's very verticalized. And with, as soon as you move at all, there is immediate disclusion. And at the test positions, there is very substantial clearance on both sides, left and right. And it's the same when you do the, the uh, disclusion from the opposing canine. The other thing you want to really make note of is the blue analogs. These happen to be one millimeter which is the amount of shift left or right is, is more limited and they go their ones one and a half, two, two and a half and three, three millimeter sizes for the shift left or right and each side can be different depending on the data uh, that you accumulate during the course of your uh, gathering of data. The other thing is the, this is set at a, the average condylar inclination but these analogs can be made really steep or if I release this screw here I can make them much more shallow but it's nice when people have a steeper angulation because when that happens and you go in, into protrusive it's a much much more verticalized move so what what we can gather from this if you think about it a little bit if you really have steep condylar angles and you set them to what the, the, the patient's condyles actually are, you can have a little bit, you can have less anterior overbite, vertical overbite on your teeth if they're really steep here. And the opposite effect is if that, if the angles are shallow you need more overbite to clear the back teeth in the functional moves. Now it's important to note that when we do, for example, left canine guidance and they touch here, this is a test position. Very few people actually, you know, guide on their teeth and rubber in their teeth and get to edge to edge point in their canines like this. We're showing this is a test position and the theory is, and it, believe me over the last 20s it works extremely, extremely well, is that when you're in this test position, if everything clears in the test position, well, when a patient really chews, they're clearing their canines much more than the test position. They're really clearing them. So if it clears, if there are no contacts in a test position, in the real chewing stroke, they're going to clear even more so, so you have your leeway not to have any posterior working and non-working interferences. And that's how the biostatic model works and that's why it's so successful. Because even if a patient grinds their teeth at night in the test position, they can grind down their canines on each side. Now, along those lines, as an example, what I've done on the two or three patients over the years that do grind at night and grind their canines, I have put full crowns on the four canines have them in with temporary cement and have a second set of canines waiting for them and in about every two and a half or three years when they come back for hygiene their canines are worn down and their posterior teeth 
if they were worn down to here, for example, you can see how much closer you're starting to have a chance to get posterior contacts and starting to wear and get interferences on both sides. Then we pop off the canines they're wearing, put the new set on, make the finite adjustments, and that lasts for another two, three years. And the, 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 the four prongs I've taken off, I send back to my lab, we rebake the porcelain, and wait for the patient to break down again. So this is a extremely uh, natural biologic system that works very, very well and there's minimal, minimal maintenance in 99% of the patients I've treated by using this model.